All right, um, this is my third beer, beer review. Um, by the way, yes, this is my illustrious coast, uh, coast uh, Oscar. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I know, this is professionalism at its best. I have a co-star, and he's a cat. Um, what I'm going to be reviewing right now is Pyramid Brewing Company's Apricot Ale. Here's the bottle. Um, I already poured myself a glass. Um, it's, it's, uh, it was a few minutes ago, so before it had a, more of a head on it, um, yes, that's my other co-star bear. Don't worry about it. Yes, I've got degenerate meow meows with me. Um, as you can see, it's got a really orange consistency. Really, it... I see it's really, it's kind of cloudy. Let's try this though. I'm not really a big fan of apricots, but it's that wheat taste and the fruit flavor. It actually tastes pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try this again. It's also a limited edition. Apparently, they're doing for right before with fall. It's it's good. Uh, I don't know uh, right off the hand. I can hand. it for limited edition for fall or for summer. For summer. Mm. Thank you for correcting me. That's great. I think. Are we sure? There's always Google. Google that shit. Sorry. Um, yeah. But I, I'm actually enjoying it. Um, it's definitely better than the, the, the vanilla oatmeal stout. I'm never going to let that down. Um, a little bit better than Frey's Gold to me. Uh, but yet again, I'm not a big fan of apricots. Never really been an apricot fan, but it's actually pretty good. I still don't know what it would taste uh, good with off the top of my head. I personally would ha have it for like a dessert drink or something. But it's got that very that very fruity uh, flavor. That very fruity smell to it. And it's that wheat aftertaste. It's pretty good. I like it. Why? What the hell? See, this is one thing the you and YouTube world don't see what I see. Right now, my camera person is giving me the look. Who I I don't know what the what she's trying to tell me. What are you trying to tell me? Speak. Put the words from After your mouth. After taste, it's more like apricot. 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 Well, no, I think the big first taste is the Not apricot, wheat. and then it's the wheat flavor afterward. Let me try this. It's got the wheat aftertaste, primarily the apricot. Out of, I would still give it. I, I, I out of five, I would do a three, three point seventy five. I know I'm going into decimals, right? Um, I'm not really a big apricot fan. That's the only thing I'm dinging on. Besides, it's just not a Mirror Pond Pale Ale. I know. You're, people are going to be like, what the hell is a Mirror Pond Pale Ale? Especially if you're not from the Northwest. But, I actually am enjoying it. I f at first, uh, I, you know, I seen it on my apricot ale. What the hell? How am I going to torture my taste buds like with this? Oh well. Oh, oh, what the hell. It's actually the best beer I've had. Out of these out of these reviews, it, it really is pretty good. Um, thanks. That's the beer review. Um, if you want to see more of this, please comment. Um, share it. Like, I'm going to share this with my stomach. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm I'm planning on doing more of these. Next week I'm going to be in Japan, so I, it may take me a while. But I may decide to drink maybe some Kirin. Um, 
or some Sapporo or something else. Ebbies. Ebbies. What? Ebbies. What? Ebbies? Ebbies. Ebbies? Elvis? No. <laughs> Uh, anyway, well, yeah, um, this is it for this review. Have a good night. Bye.